the number of inches in the perimeter of an equilateral triangle equals the number of square inches in the area of its circumscribed circle. What is the radius in inches of the circle? So first we're going to draw this out. We have our equilateral triangle and a circumscribed circle goes through each of the vertices of that equilateral triangle to look something like that. So what's going to be true is that the circumcircle, which is the intersection of all the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle, is going to be the center of this circle. So if we draw in all the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle, there's one, this other one, goes like that. that. This point right here is the center of the circle. And since that's the center of the circle, the distance from this vertice to the center of the circle is the radius of the circle. So what's going to be true then is the, the degrees of each of these is going to be, since it's an equilateral triangle, um, if you look at the degrees of that, that right there, since this whole thing is a full circle, that's going to be 120 degrees. So therefore, this area right here will also be 120, and since this is cutting that in half, that degree measure will be 60 degrees, and that degree measure is 90 degrees, and therefore this degree measure has to be 30 degrees. So the reason why that's helpful is we can think back to properties of right triangles, and we're looking at a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Um, so what that means then is this is the right triangle, 30, 60. So the ratios go as follows. This is root 3. This is 1. That's 2. And since, let's just say, put the equilateral triangle out here. Each of the side lengths of the equilateral triangle is x. So we're looking at it something like this. There's the perpendicular bisector we're concerned with. Um, what's going to be true then, here's the other perpendicular bisector, just to draw it in, and then the other. So we're concerned with that. Um, this length right here is just going to be one half x. And since that's the side that's opposite the 60 degree angle, it's going to be true that one half x, we need to go from multiplied by what equals r. So r is the side that's across from the 90 degree angle right there. So one half x times we're going to want to multiply root 3 by 2 over root 3. And that's how we get from this needs to multiply by 2 over root 3 to get that. So this is going to be true. So next, from there, we'll erase this. We know that this is true. So from here, what we know is the area of the circle is just pi r squared. So the area of the circle is going to be pi times um, 1 half x times 2 over root 3, which is just x over root 3 squared, which is then x squared pi over 3. So the area of the circle is this. Um, and what the problem had told us was that the perimeter of the equilateral triangle is equal to the area of the circle. 
So the perimeter of the equilateral triangle equal to the area of the circle. So since I defined each of the sides of the equilateral triangle as x, um, its perimeter is going to be 3x. So then we know that 3x, and again, this is the area of the circle, is going to be equal to x squared pi over 3. And so then it's just a matter of solving for x. Um, so here, if we multiply both sides by 3, this is going to become 9x is equal to x squared pi. And then from here, we get that 9 is equal to x times pi. And so therefore, x is equal to 9 over pi. And so since we have that, then we can find the radius, which is what we're trying to find in this problem in the end. So radius is going to be equal to, um, before we had the radius is equal to this. So radius is just equal to, we'll fill in for x, 9 over pi over root 3. So from there, I just plugged in 9 over pi here. Um, radius is equal to that. So then, therefore, radius will be equal to 9 over pi times root 3. And what we can do here is multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3 to rationalize the denominator. So 9 root 3 over 3 pi. And then just simplifying, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So we get 3 root 3 over pi as the measure of the radius. And we see that that is choice B.